I don't know how. I mean, my last past year was past two years were really fucking bad too. Yeah. So I was like, dude, I was drinking way too much, drinking Same. every day. And you've been through that a couple times. I remember years back you had a, and I remember you being where you you were vocal about it yeah. too, and you kind of opened up about that. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah. Uh, I'm not afraid to admit that. Like, I definitely struggle with alcohol and like. Um, we're all fucked up in here just so you know <laughs> yeah, 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 totally fact, uh, but I was yeah. like I was like <laughs> I was yeah. like I'm literally killing myself for people who don't give a fuck yeah like I so I'm, I moved home I haven't like you know I, I sobered up I mm. surrounded myself with people that love me and who I love like dude that it it sounds so cheesy move. but it yeah. fucking fixed literally right. like I'm yeah. not exaggerating it fixed everything in the matter of like two weeks <laughs> yeah like, right. I haven't drank I work out every day now like I feel better Let's about go. myself yeah. right um like confidence self-esteem like dude I you start to like forget who you are like right. yeah. you're thrust into this situation. Not, I mean, LA is just like a like a target to point to, but like any any place in general where you're like, why? What am I doing trying to fit in? Right yeah, here. here. Like right. why am I? Why do I need to try to feel accepted right. when there's already a fuckload of people who love me? Yeah. For no matter what I do, like right. I could tell my cousins like I want to you know knit for the rest of my life, and they'd be like, that's cool, man. Like right. you know, there's no pressure. Right. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's really interesting you say that because like, I also had that had the same problem and it's like, I don't, I still struggle with like whether I identify as like an alcoholic because mm -hmm. I never felt like a strong compulsion to do it. But I was also in contexts where it was a habit. It was a. Ha I would just be in a place where people are like, hey, "You want a shot?" And I'm just like, "Yeah, Fuck why not?" Yeah. Yeah, so not, and it's, it's a hard thing to say no to. It's, it's like just yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's it's That's a shot. free. <laughs> it's free, and it's we free, live in a, a world shot. where if you're if you don't if you turn down something free, you might not get it later. Right, and it's, it's like easy to fold on that one. Yeah, and it's like, you know, we pretend like everybody does all this shit by themselves, like they kick habits by themselves, and then you literally like, literally had a turn one day where it was like, I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah, and then the the bar I was going to, it's like a coffee shop bar. I wasn't just hanging out in a bar at 2, 2 p.m. But like mm -hmm. the bar that I was going to, I just told them like, I don't think I want to drink anymore. And now they don't give me alcohol. Good. It's literally that. Yeah. You know, it's, and I say that just to stress that like, sometimes all you have to do is like, let people know that you're trying to do better. And then. Dude, like accountability is huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that applies to everything, everything. even outside of right. like our habits yeah. right. or addiction. Beyond or addiction. Any, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like literally. And find the people that will yeah. Yeah. commit with you. Yeah. Again, not just on the, uh, you know, trying to stay sober or whatever, but it's also like your values, your principles, your mm -hmm. ambitions, you know, people mm -hmm. that will actually, yeah. that maybe people who are trying to do the same thing you know and who are actually putting their money where their mouth is mm -hmm. right you know i was my immediate question following that though was like it makes me wonder where all of that shit puts you now like creatively or at least where your head has been at dude like, even like, if you're just trying to figure it out but like what? yeah i mean fuck i uh i'm definitely there was definitely like a not rock bottom i guess you could call it rock bottom but just mm -hmm. like feeling like shit about myself and like the little amount of success that I have had, like with um, just like Vine and some of the viral videos, like the, that high and like comparing myself to who I am now versus like that. I'm like, I'm not funny anymore. It's like being at war with yourself. Yeah. yeah. And then just drinking is like adding fucking like the most potent, flammable thing to like an already out yeah. of control fire. Yeah. yeah. So, right. um, I just had to fucking just stop and like now I'm I'm really kind of getting my bearings back like it's been it's almost been three months now so I'm like nice. getting my um, that shit we're about is so in, important dog clarity yeah. is like coming back and I'm we're like, about in I'm, the same spot I'm okay that's like, good that's awesome yeah but I definitely feel I always tell my mom like if I could go back and, and see that dude who I was like I would beat the fuck out of him but then I'm yeah. like <laughs> I hug? God, no, exactly. But that's that's what I. The conclusion I came to is I just needed to be. I just needed to love myself. Rub his, rub his back. Yeah, yeah. right. Like, yeah. Hey, hey man, you're good. Shoulder, Put down the Casamigos, dude. Come yeah, on. you're good. Right. Yeah. But uh, uh, Tisa Carrie, shoulder rub, <laughs> shoulder <laughs> rub. Yo, but taking that time, you're you're talking about it in the context of addiction, um, but just even pulling away from like 
a shitty job or a shitty relationship to pull out and like ha- create that if you have a support system that can support you in that to like pull out for a second and mm-hmm. really reassess and recalibrate everything that that shit is I mean, I wouldn't be sitting here in this room with y'all if I didn't do that in like yeah. 2017. Yeah. Me com- connecting with Jeremy back then and like thankfully like him, his parents like letting me sleep on, you know, his couch and like all of that. Th- that whole period was was like that for me. It was mm-hmm. like because I was teaching uh, English out in Japan. Wow. And um, before that, I was working in a retail like high-end fashion retail was and it drove me to the point of suicide and i was like i gotta get the fuck out of this country Mm -hmm, and then i went to japan and then and then that was wow that was great and i I had lived there before i I went to school out there okay um but to be out there and then get in this groove and 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 it was good but then i was like still in an exploitative ass job Mm -hmm. getting paid shit and i was just like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right mm-hmm, now. Right. Like, you know, and I, I miss Tokyo like a lot. I, I miss living out there, but just in terms of like, just again, the existentials, like what, what am I doing? And I quit that job and I just came back to the States and I didn't have anything. I couldn't get a job. Um, and I, I was just sleeping on friends' couches, friends and family's couches. And, and then I was staying with my parents at a certain point in time. But like during that whole time, it was like, I could, it was like the first, I always tell people it was like the first time I was close to actually free in my entire mm-hmm. life. Yeah. No school, broke as fuck, in debt, can't, not, don't have enough money to pay back the debt. So all that shit is just being deferred or whatever <laughs> the fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you just have like time and yeah. like people that you love around you. Yeah. And then I just, it's like I started reading and asking questions I may have been afraid to ask before about myself and about yeah. the world and like and that just opened up so many like doors i feel like 